Hi, this is Reg Atwal and welcome to another one of our episodes for book videos. This is the book for today, Turned On. Interesting title, eh? Eight Vital Insights to Energize Your People, Customers and Profits. I picked it up from my library. It's a very old book, 1996. Got to get that right. 1996 was when this was published by Roger Doe and Susan Cook a forward by the legendary Tom Peters and a great quote here from Ken Blanchard, the chairman of the Blanchard Training Company and co-author of The One Minute Manager. He said, turn on captures the passion and energy of people who thrive on making things better every day for their customers, organizations and themselves. Uh, it's a pretty good book. I mean, it's taken me a couple of days to go through it again, make my notes, but just really quickly in terms of the content, remember this is 1996. Uh, my eldest son is, was born in 1996 and has just turned 24 years of age. So it just puts it into context of when this was put together. Most of the things in the book are relevant today in 2020 for those of you watching this year. And it's full of different insights. It's like a mini, creating a mini business plan almost. You've got insight number one, which is all around building a strong foundation. And then it's broken into five sub areas. Insight two is all about make every customer feel special. Insight three, have the courage to set bold goals. Insight four, this is my favorite, simplify, simplify, simplify. Absolutely. Insight five, make te te technology your servant. Insight six, measure well, act fast. That's a great one. Insight seven, unleash the power of people and then lead with care. And then there's a really good scorecard, scorecard at the end called Vitality Scorecard. So the foreword, which I think is a good start, it says the essence of this superb book is captured in its two word title, Turned On. You can have the world's greatest product backed up by the most magnificent business plan. But if your people, from the telephone operator to the CEO, aren't turned on, and your customers aren't turned on, forget it. It's all over, period. In these crazy times, it's almost tragic to observe average company, the average company, a multi-billion dollar global enterprise or the neighborhood hardware store trying to succeed by delivering its product or providing service a little bit faster or better than yesterday or its competitor. And that's essentially what this book is all about and what it refers to as being turned on. So it's got a lovely model here. You can just about see it. Get that right in the camera. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's a really cool model, which I just wanted to show you there. I think it's pretty good. It's talking about three areas at the top. Enthusiastic customers, inspired people, financial performance. So it starts from the bottom to work your way up to achieving those things. It says build a strong foundation, make every customer feel special, have the courage to set bold goals, simplify, 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 make technology your servant, measure well, act fast, unleash the power of people, lead with care. So essentially what I've gone through in the contents area is part of this model as a way to go through these eight stages to get to the highest stage of being turned on. So let me share a couple of things with you. There's a nice quote, Charles Schweb, chairman and CEO of the Charles Schweb Organization Corporation. It says, I've never gotten a referral from an unhappy customer. Once we abuse our customers' sensitivity, once we've sold them something that was averse to their interest, we've blown this entire business. I think that's really powerful. And it's, that's all in chapter one, talking about building a strong foundation. So the authors say, picture going on a date with two different people. One runs to the door with flowers and candy. The other toots the horn and expects you to run out to the car. Who are you going to want to see again? Not a trick question, is it? Are you running to your customer's door or are you just tooting your company horn? <laughs> oh, that's good. Right? It makes you think about that, what's happening in your organization. 
It says practice number five, moving on, page 35B, brilliant on the basics. A quote here from J.W. Marriott, founder of the Marriott Corporation. The most important thing is to serve the hot food hot and the cold food cold. And this is about be brilliant on the basics. You may have sunk $2 million into the decor of your restaurant, but if the hot food is cold, when it gets to the table, you just lost a customer. If you're looking for ways to add value, but don't deliver on the basics, you're wasting your time and money. Beautiful tip there. Let's get back to basics in our companies. Practice seven, page 51. For decades, companies sought the holy grail of economy of scale, attempting to crank out one product to please everyone. But we're all fed up with the mass market goods and faceless service. Tailor your products and handcraft your service to create outrageous value in the eyes of your customers. They'll gladly pay for it. So a couple of points on this one. It's all about one size doesn't fit all, okay? I think too many times companies out there are trying to sell products and think that it's a copy and paste for everyone, but it clearly states in this entire section here, practice seven, one size doesn't fit all. It says increase share of customer as well as share of market. The most fertile ground to grow your business lies with existing customers. Work with each one to understand the current and future needs. Partner with customers to create unique value-added solutions. Sell as many products as possible to each of them. Two, treat each customer as the only customer. Market segments don't buy anything. Individuals do. Make every individual a distinct customer group and start with your best customers. If you can't go all the way, make segments as small as possible. I think that's really, really good advice. So I'm going to move to the second half of the book. And if you're enjoying it so far, don't forget to find all the details in the description area about when it was published, who the publishers are, some links. Go to Amazon, get to your local bookshop and see if you can grab a copy of Turned On by Roger Dow and Susan Cook. Again, published in 1996 bit of a classic. So moving on, talking about measure well, act fast around insight six, halfway through the book, page 156. It says one, don't criminalize complaints, solicit them. Customers who complain reveal the issues most important to them and highlight where you need to improve. Handle a complaint well and the customer will be more loyal than if there was never a problem in the first place. But don't just Fight fires. Look hard at prevention. Keep in mind the complaints you actually hear are only the tip of the iceberg. The customer complaints you hear about at headquarters or from your managers represent only 5% of the unhappy customers. Wow. Only 50% complain at any level. More important, an average of 30% of those dissatisfied customers will not come back or buy again. Shocking. These angry departed customers tell the stories to up to 10 other people and 13% become terrorists who go out of their way to tell more than 20 people just to get even. This is absolutely shocking news. And it's good to read this again. I remember this from many, many years ago about how many people a bad customer, complaining customer, will tell other people. But there you go. What your managers are telling is only 5%. Only 50% complain at any level at a time. An average of 30% of those dissatisfied will not come back. And this number, it says warning, this number can be as high as 90%. And the angry customers, they will become, 13% will become terrorists who will go out their way to get even by telling another 20 people. Wow. So that's a whole area to, to, to consider. Uh, moving towards the end, I'm just going to keep it simple with the Vitality Scorecard, page 281, summarizes the entire book with a scorecard that you can complete. So I want to give you a, a few things from it. Uh, you just grade it poor, fair, good, strong, best in class. Um, and insight number one, build a strong foundation. 
Number one, everyone knows the true essence of our business and that clarity guides uh, our every decision, yes or no, poor, fair, good, strong, best in class. We intimately know our top customers and what's important to them. We design work based on how it is experienced by and affects our customers. And the list goes on for Insight 1. Insight 2, make every customer feel special. I'll give you one of them. We consider each of our customers a segment of one. We tailor products and services to individuals. Insight 3, again, I'll give you one. We excel at short-term objectives while we, at the same time, are ruthlessly inventing a new future. Insight four, simplify, simplify, simplify. Again, I'll give you one. Every process and system is designed to cost-effectively give customers what they want and simplify their experience. And just to go to one of the fun, some of the things I haven't covered from the book video today, unleash the power of people insight seven. Our hiring program ensures that we only bring on board people who live our values and match the profile of our best performers. I like that. They not only have the capability, but the heart and initiative to succeed. I think you've got to get the book to go through the entire vitality scorecard. It's packed with some really, really good questions. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, helps our algorithm to reach more people, leave some comments. And if you want, share the video, but come back. We drop one new video every day on our channel. We have different show themes for me doing book videos to family business Q and A, uh, little speeches as well, bite-sized speeches, uh, keynotes, and a whole bunch of interviews with family business owners, entrepreneurs, and experts. So thanks for watching and please come back again soon. Bye for now.